Alright, so welcome to another YouTube video on Forescan. Today we're going to enable how, I mean, the ability to add a destination. If you're sitting in traffic, or sometimes you have a passenger in the car, you cannot change or add a destination on navigation. So, we're going to enable that. So your passenger can do this, or if you're stuck in traffic like we are right now, you can still add a destination instead of using your phone. All right, so we're going to start with connecting the laptop to the ELM325 on the OBD2 part. Underneath it, just make sure it connects all the way. Goes all the way in. And again, I have a USB, that way I know it's connected, not the Wi-Fi or Bluetooth one that we don't know if it's actually connected or not. Okay, we're gonna open Forescan up here. We're gonna hit connect, but before we hit connect, actually, I'm gonna turn the vehicle on. Just the power. You don't need to turn the car on, the truck on. Just power it on. Okay. So we're going to click on focus here, connect. You may follow the instructions here, the directions, warnings. All right, it found a previous record. We're gonna click yes. If you're in, uh, if you're doing a vehicle like a friend's or family member's vehicle, um, you probably wanna hit no so it'll uh, bring the information in from the new vehicle. So we're gonna click yes and let everything load until it says ready. Oh, sorry, forgot about the switch here. We're gonna flip the switch and hit yes. Okay. Let everything load. See, it says ready now on the bottom. There. So now we can go up here to configurations. All right. So let's start with the configurations now. All right. So we're going to go into the APIM as built. We're going to click down here on the bottom where it says run or play. Read the warnings here and let everything load. Okay, so the box is still loaded. Now we're going into the 7D001, I'm sorry, 0201. All right, always double check these. So 7D00201. These are the ones that control. Canadian, American, and ability to control it without, uh, even in motion, okay? So we're gonna change this from 5553 to 57.53. 57.53, everything else I'm gonna leave the same. Now you're getting, yours might be a little different, but everything we're gonna just stay the same here. Click on right. Are you sure you want to? I'm gonna show you what happens when I click yes. So we can cycle it off. It's gonna reset it. So I'm gonna turn this off. And wait a bit. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. And turn it back on. All right, so I'm gonna wait for this thing to cycle here. There it is. So it's just turning itself back on. I'm gonna fast forward through this so you can see what it's like afterwards. Well, actually, let's take this time to Talk about liking the video, subscribing to the channel, comment on the video if you have any likes, dislikes, or any other suggestions. All 
All right, so let's tackle this. So we're gonna go for a test drive and see if we can mess with it while we're driving. All right, so I got a green light. Now don't do this at home, don't drive this yourself. I'm just doing this very carefully here on the side of the freeway here. There's not really that much traffic, it's just a little movement. And, all right. There we go, you can see it's moving. Click on destination. There it is, it's still all lit up. And this is not really for you to be typing it in while you're driving, it's for a passenger to be typing it in. Or if you need to make a correction while you're stuck in traffic or at a street light, you can do that too. Another pretty neat thing that you can do is check messages. Click on messaging. Again, not really for you to do, but there's messages here and you can actually view the message now. Where in the past, you wouldn't be able to say it, right? And one more thing you can do, you can go to settings, and you can even edit wallpaper while you're driving. It doesn't make you put it in park to do this. Now, again, don't do this while you're driving, but it is something you can now do at a stoplight, street light. Raptor on here. There you go. Alright, okay, guys, so thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out some of these other videos I got also.